What's going on YouTube? Gabriel White here, representing the movement towards improvement over here at beautiful Legacy Golf Club and Resort where I'm now teaching and practicing. Guys, I'm very excited. With me today is my buddy Andrew Fish, Fish, Fisher, aka Fish, Fish Fit. Fit. I am very excited to announce that Fish is now part of the MTI team. Fish has worked on the PGA Tour for 10 years. He has a lot of wisdom and experience and knowledge on some stuff that I have nothing, nothing to know about and he's gonna have some great value to be a part of the, my YouTube channel and provide some great value to you guys. So Fish, let's hit a few shots. All right. Okay, but first of all, let's talk about the giveaways. Oh yeah. I said people love the giveaways, so let's give them a giveaway. They love it, huh? Okay. All right. MTI head cover, pretty simple. Fish, what do you got? I got a Fish Fit hat, uh, unused. Unused, brand new, <laughs> new with tags, you guys. Fish just started his own YouTube channel. Okay, just click on the links in the annotation or in the description box. Go subscribe for a chance to win. We're gonna give these away in one week from this date of this video that's being uploaded. So yeah. you guys just subscribe to Fish's channel, have a chance to win, link up down below, and we'll uh, announce the winners here soon. All right, you guys, hole number 10, starting off in the back nine today, a little 405 yards, a little blustery out here. Swing smooth, try hitting the center of the club face. And that'll work. A little bit of wind actually in our face, 405 yard par four. Um, I'm looking for fairway and that's pretty much it. Down the left side, a little bit of a draw. It's gonna be left rough. Get a kick to the right, ah, left rough. A lot of wind, 168. Well, normally seven iron, no problem stock, but I'm gonna hit six, we got some wind. And I'm not even sure how much wind, probably maybe two clubs. It's a lot. Let's hit this one, see what happens. Points. Yeah, if you hit it, if you hit it flush, a lot of times it goes a true distance, even in the wind. Oh, hit that thin, gosh. Sand trap, right bunker. Thin to wind usually. Okay, um, looks like I got 141. I'm gonna take a seven iron, lots of wind up there. I think one of the biggest things fish is playing in blustery conditions. Yep. Take the ego out of play. You yeah. know, everyone wants to just hit their same club they would on a normal day, just puts more spin on it. But fish, you know, you worked on the PGA Tour for 10 years. Can you share a little bit about what you did to help players get better? Yeah, so I did performance. I did, uh, you know, we're talking about nutrition. We're talking about strength conditioning. We're talking about the mental side. We're talking about all these different facets, but more than anything else, I provided structure. I got these guys ready. I got to, um, I got them to prepare. I got them to be disciplined, and that's uh, that's the biggest difference. You know, that's why I'm so excited to have fish on the team and be able to make videos with you guys and share some stuff. Is a lot of players have, you know, coaches and trainers, which fish specializes in personal therapy, massage training, but also learning how to structure and organize success, schedule out your days, and building teams to help you go. You can't do it by yourself. Yeah, it's time management. Time management. Get to it. All right, that shot was thin. And right. Um, now we got ourselves about a 30 yard bunker shot. Not the easiest in windy conditions, but landing right where Gabe's ball would be a good landing point. Come on, roll out. Ah, uh, great roll shot, out. Fish. Thanks. Really nice. Keep going, keep going. All right, that worked. All right, Fish. I'm pretty happy with my shot. I took a really easy swing. Yeah. Uh, Fish, when you're on PGA Tour, did you see any putters that really stood out to you? Any guys who are like, man, that guy can roll the rock? They are in badly. Um, Snedeker. I like reactional putters. I like guys who just step up there, one quick maybe practice swing, and then they step into it. They make putting reactionary. I like that. Okay. You know, that would be a good tip for all parts of your game, you know? Yeah. Some guys just get too technical and too inside their head. Yeah, it's easier. You don't have to think about it. So if you just react, react to your shot. React like to your it. surroundings. I'm just gonna react to it. You know? Instinctual. I just really focus on speed a lot. See the ball going in. Ooh! Mm, not roll. bad. Not bad. On the high side. I like that. Yeah, you wanna miss on the high. <laughs> Ooh. Nice up and down. Thanks, Fisher. buddy. Thank you. Thank you. I love the mental stability this guy has. <laughs> you know, just one shot at a time. Gotta yeah. love it. All right, fish. I got 188. Bit blustery right now. Yeah. It's 
Straight one's going left, left to right. right. Yep. Um, I got six or five iron. What are you What are you thinking? It's five iron all day. Five iron? Yep. Okay. I like that. Five iron. Where do we want me starting this at? Well, about 10 or 15 yards left of that flag. Okay. Straight ball at the wind take it? Absolutely. I like it. Same shot as that last one, the last hole. Just a different club. Look pretty good. Wind's yep. taking it, but it. it's a good club right there. Yep. I like it. Thank you, sir. Nice and confident. Now, Fish, you caddied on the PJ Tour for... Time to time, yeah. A decent a bit. What are, what are players looking for in a caddy? Confidence. Confidence. That's, that's the number one thing. I mean, I remember this one time I was, I was caddying for Jeff Overton and uh, Tiger and Stevie, same, same pairing. And <laughs> I tell Overton it's a stock seven all day. And he does, he's questioning it the entire time. Stevie, from a distance, confidently calls out, the seven, mate. And Tiger just stripes it. So there's a lot of confidence that can be instilled in their player. I mean, that, that's, it's all about that. Yeah. It's all about that belief system that you're selling to your player. They gotta believe in you. That comfort, they can rely on their caddy, you know? Absolutely. I like it. What do you got? I got a six. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't wanna be setting up to the shotgun. Yeah, you know, yeah. five, well, you know, you could go with, or, you know, you know, the six, you know, come a little shorter, but. Yeah, you know. if you make a decision and stick with it, that's gonna be far better than yeah. the right club that you're guessing on. I like it. Being able to commit. I see a green, I aim for the middle. It's kind of a Ryan Moore philosophy. It's, uh, it's high, and the wind's taking it a little bit. Let's see what happens. Center of the green. Uh, wind didn't actually move it as much as I thought. That's, a, that's fine, 20, yeah. 25 footer on a 188 hole? Absolutely. All right, Fish, I know you've caddied for uh, Ryan Moore for a little bit. You know, what, what would his philosophy be or you know, game set going into a you know, 188 yard par three? Yeah, when I was on his team, um, it's really interesting. He's just such a unique player. On, on a par three, forget about par three, on any green, any approach shot, he's just looking for the middle of the green. He made, made a comment that the widest part is usually the middle of the green. You get the front, you get the sides, the widest part's right in the middle. And so he was just trying to hit the middle of the green. That's all he cared about. And I really like that because he, that showed the confidence he had in his, in his putting game. Okay, you guys, just kind of off the green here. It's a good club, just a little right. Wind kind of took it, but, you know, I like to just maybe belly this thing. Kind of gets on top of the fringe a little bit. You know, for you guys who are scared of chipping, you know, try to keep the ball on the ground, you know. Just kind of feel it out like a putt. I try to hit a little up on it myself, but it's really not that technically hard of a shot. Ooh. Oof. That was Ooh, a good firm, roll. Man. A little firm. Had a good chance. Jeez. You know, continuing on that story, Ryan Moore is the only guy that I know of on the PGA Tour that doesn't use a yardage book. He's just looking for the middle really? yardage to the green, and that's it. Wow. In a game where everybody's got every number under the sun, this guy's only looking for one. I love that artistry. Yeah. You know? It's really nice. Refreshing, especially this day and age. All right, Fish, what are you looking at? A little uphill left to rider? Yes, sir. You know, one of the good things is I hit that belly a little far by, be able to be able to, you know, get a good read off Fish's ball. So make sure you can always use your friends or competitors. You always gotta be at least three paces off your competitor, off their intended line. You know, I'm gonna step in there real quick. I'm gonna watch it go by my tee. Uh, stop. You know, that rolled a lot late in the day, the, with the wind, you know, the greens are drying out. Yeah. They're getting a little faster, something you gotta be conscious of. Well, it's interesting, because I saw how fast yours was downhill. I thought I'd Mine would be a little bit slower uphill, but that's not the case. Yeah. Fast uphill and downhill at the list late in the day. Got a good read off fish. It's a little firm, but I think I got a good look. It's going to be very kind of hit a little softer than I think I need to. There we go. Cheer. Greens are rolling good. Yeah, super true. Yeah. Legacy. Legacy. Legacy's always got really nice greens. Superintendent, whoever you are, fine job. <laughs> you know, real fine job. Hang in. Oh! Whew. Sharp holes out here at Legacy. Phew! <laughs> Jeez. Hey. Counts as much as a 350 yeah. yard drive yeah. right there. Something interesting. Yeah. Something interesting. You know, when you're playing with your, your, your friends, the first person to finish always gets the flag. But when you caddy, it's always the last person to finish gets the flag. Keep right. up the pace of play. FYI, a little gem for you guys if you didn't know. Ooh. A little P 
PGA Tour tip. Yeah. Golden. Golden. Hit it. Fish, I'm drinking a little shake right now. Yeah. Was there a lot of guys on tour that drink some sort of, you know, healthy shake during yeah. the round or keep Absolutely. them energized? Absolutely. Um, a lot of the fitness golfers, the guys that are really aware of everything, you know, kind of pay attention to nutrition, they pay attention to their fitness, they pay attention to, you know, sports psychology, pay attention to everything. Do you think those guys on average perform better than the people who don't focus on those things? Absolutely. Because they have a game plan. You can't beat somebody who's consistent. You know, Tiger Woods, you know, for the longest time had just the most solid game plan out of anybody. Right? You know, just very structured. The guy's waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning, he's working out, then he's at the golf course, he's eating already before he gets to the golf course, and he's teeing up. He's done at 9.30 before anybody's even woken up. Yeah. What's that do to his mindset? And then imagine what that does to his competitor's mindset. Not right. only does he feel like he's doing more than everybody else, and everybody else is feeling like, Jesus, this guy's like, he's on a different level. Yep. So you oh. give him the win. You give him the win before it starts. And he knows you've given it to him. That's like me and my sister in arm wrestling competitions. I beat her before we even begin, you know? I'm just, I just naturally intimidate. Anyways. Is she older? Is she 11? <clears throat> Anyways, the 459 par 4, you guys. Uh, hit my driver good on 10. I'm just going to try to do the same old thing. Visualize it, feel it, and then swing it. Yeah. Going on the right side. Might be just a little short of that bunker. It's actually be okay. It's all right. Oh, boy, the sun's <laughs> going in and out. Feels like... Feels like I'm, I'm in England right now. Pretty course. Challenging hole right here. Also a very pretty hole. Mm, down the left side again. That's two draw shots. Stop. Should be okay. That's Ooh. all right. Yeah, two draws got him. All right, fish. So I know you work for Bubba Watson for five years, you know, he kind of has like a very, very like lackadaisical type of persona he portrays, you know, like Bubba mm -hmm. Watson seems like that guy just kind of rolls out of bed, you know, wakes up and just, you know, goes and plays, he just plays really well. You know, working for him, you know, what type of uh, character is he really when it comes to his discipline and, you know, his daily routines? Yeah, I think that a lot of times you see these players, you're not really sure, you don't get to see the behind the scenes. I wish... I wish they, uh, they'd let you in a little bit more with that. I mean, great players have great routines. There's no such thing as just waking up and gripping it and ripping it. I mean, that's the John Daly kind of, I mean, I guess there's, there are some people that can do it, but there's no lasting power in that, yeah. right? So, you know, if you want to play at the highest level, you're doing, you have, you have a really good regiment. Bubba, very disciplined. Man, that guy's waking up at 5 a.m. Wow. Whether or not they're showcasing that or not, yeah. that's the stuff you don't see. Right. Yeah. There's a there's a facade of success. You know, PGA Tour is only showing the guys on the leaderboard. It doesn't show you what you're doing. You know, five in the morning. You know, what they're eating, how they're preparing, how they're going over the course. You know. Yeah. Okay, you guys. I got 182 downwind. I'm going for, uh, with an eight iron. So I hit a seven iron from 140. And now I'm hitting an eight iron from 180. Just shows you, you know, the difference the wind can make. Okay. Wind kind of died now, but oh, now I'm picking up again, which is good. Which is what I need. Get up a little bit, about eh, 15 feet left, and eh, a little short. Yeah, wind kind of died, didn't catch up great, but we'll chip it away. 178 yards. Got some nice contrast with the fairway versus the green. I'm just paying attention to the lightly colored green. It's actually my target, just the green. I'm not really particularly aiming at anything, just want to get this on the green. It's kind of a tough shot under a tree. 178 yards, I've got a seven iron. Uh, another draw, left side of the green. Be gentle, and it's short. Eh, not great. A little uphill, not as much wind as we thought. Yeah. All right, fish. You got a short game shot. We both do. Um, yeah. What's one of the things you learned, you know, working for Bubba Watson? I think uh, you were kind of sharing with me. You see a lot of the guys on tour, you know, kind of be either on two ends of the spectrum. You know, maybe more on the technical side, or yeah. you know, more on the you know artist side. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot of players that were, were both, you know, you got the extremes, the guys to just look at every aspect. I mean, from, you know, track man numbers and 
exactly where they need to be position wise and then you got guys who have never even seen their swing on camera which seems crazy this day and age but you've got guys like Bubba Watson they're just just true artists and that's all they focus on yeah. literally the artistry of the game and forget about the science which I think you know you definitely need that balance especially for a short game shot like this you gotta be able to see the uh, the trajectory and the land and the spin and the feel and you know the yeah. shape and the feel of the this shot. is all artistry around here you know I mean you can you can try to figure out some type of system, you know, if I'm 10 feet, I'm gonna hit it two cups out. You can figure that out, but boy, that, you know, feel and just mastery of visualization is all short game. And the best players in the world have the best short games, period. Came up short. That's a misjudge of the wind, for sure. I just really didn't realize how much there was out there. Just a little chip, just get this thing this thing going, flip it up there a little bit, sit, eh. right distance, wrong line. I'm gonna have to test you one for a par. What club you got, Fish? I hit a sand wedge, actually. Let me try the old Sandy. Yep. Okay, got a little short game shot here. Always trying to pick out a landing spot and trajectory. Okay, Just takes a lot of practice for short game because it takes a lot of sensitivity. That's why people like Luke Donald can beat people like Dustin Johnson and Bubba Watson. They got the sensitivity and touch. Strength isn't always a skill set. Okay. And yeah, not too bad. A little sloppy, a little four footer. Okay, fish, what do you see? Left or right. Guaranteed. Confident. Confidently. Well, downhill left to right, our greens are pretty quick, actually. Yeah, I've actually hit everyone past, so I've got to pay attention to that. You going to throw me a read? Yeah, you know, I'm just going to try to share, you know, you want that ball to come in, you know, you want to be looking over here. Yep. You know, a lot of people, it, no matter what putt they're hitting, they always look at the center of the hole, but that's not the center. You want to kind of kind of track it in, maybe even so, see the ball come out of the hole and back. Yeah, you like that visualization. I, I haven't, I've never really done that, but something I would like to be willing to try. Have the hole and come all the way back to where the ball is. Yeah, like that. And it's just speed from there. It's downhill. It's going to be quick. Ooh. Uh, scared you a little bit. Yeah, you did. <laughs> scared me. Well, that, but that's, uh, that's 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 sports I, psychology 101. Yeah, <laughs> just that's why. That's why you don't listen to your competitors. You listen yeah. to your caddy. Well, you were a better caddy than I ever was. <laughs> hey, and thanks for the ball marker. But huh? I like the I like the tips. I appreciate it. All right, you give me a read, huh? Yeah, it's, um, if you're going to aim like pretty much out here, just let it curve right back Jeez. in. Jeez. <laughs> well, I, gotta, I want to tie you, so you got to miss. Okay, so you're no help, huh? No, no help at all. Okay. Ooh, especially because you got a read from me. I kind of... Oh, God. Ooh. Shoved it. Yeah. Shoved it real bad. It's a bad. tough game. It's a tough <laughs> game. I, uh, I didn't keep my head down. Didn't keep my head down, released it. It's a bogus. Yeah. Well, beautiful day out here though. It's gorgeous. Clouds. Beautiful. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching part one of our little course vlog over here at Legacy. Glad to have found a home base, be able to teach, play, practice, and film from. Even better to have another guy on the MTI team to share some wisdom with you guys with his 10 years of experience on the PGA Tour. Fish giveaway. All you gotta do is go subscribe to his YouTube channel, links in the description box, or click on the annotation, you guys. And I just made this little MTI head cover, okay? Not too bad, pretty dope. Black and white, a lot like life, but there is some gray to it. Um, if you, you know, see through the silver lining, which I'm not really sure what that means, I'm still working on it. You guys, please link up. We both do Periscope now, okay? Links down below. Scoping. I'm doing Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. You guys, link up for a chance to win, you guys. Part two will be up the next day. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Damn, I said a lot right there. Fish, do you want to add anything? Nope, too late. <laughs> I forgot how to talk. You talked so <laughs> <Jeez>. long. <laughs> that was awesome.